Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about TypeScript and introduction. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Alright, what is TypeScript? TypeScript adds additional syntax to JavaScript to support a tighter integration with your edit editor. Catch errors early in your editor. TypeScript code converts to JavaScript which runs anywhere JavaScript runs in a browser on Node.js, Arduino and in your apps. TypeScript understands JavaScript and uses Types interface to give you a great tooling without additional code. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. TypeScript provides various other features like interfaces, type aliases, abstract classes, function overloading, tuple, generics, etc. It allows you to code in a manner so that your code faces much lesser error in the runtime or production. I'm going to rate TypeScript on several dimensions on a scale of 1010 to give you better sense of how we well suited TypeScript may or may not be for large scale applications. Greater than zero represents a positive impact, less than zero represents a negative impact, three to five points represent relatively strong impact, two points represent a moderate, moderate impact, one point represents a relatively low impact. These numbers are hard to measure precisely and will be somewhat subjective but I have estimated the best I can reflect to the actual cost and rewards we saw on real projects. All projects for which impact was judged were 50k lines of code with several collaborators working over several months. One project was Angular 2 plus TypeScript compared against a similar project written in Angular 1 with standard JavaScript. All other projects were built with React and Node and compared against React or Node projects written in standard JavaScript. Subjective bug density, subjective relative velocity and de developer feedback were estimated but not precisely measured. All teams contain a mix of experience and new TypeScript developers. All members had access to more experienced mentors to assist with TypeScript onboarding. Objective data was too noisy in the small sampling of projects to make any definitive objective judgments with a reliable error margin. On one project, native JavaScript showed a 41% lower public bug density over TypeScript. In another, the TypeScript project showed a 4% lower bug density over the comparable native JavaScript version. Obviously, the implementation or lack of other quality measures had a much stronger effect than TypeScript, which skewed the numbers beyond usability. With margin of error so bold, I gave up on objective quantification and instead focused on feature delivery pace and observations of where we spent our time. You'll see more of those details in the ROI point by point breakdown. So because there's a lot of subjectivity involved, you should allow for a margin of error in interpretation. So here's the picture of the chart, but the overall ROI balance should give you a good idea of what to expect. So here's the example. You can already hear the peanut gallery objections to the small benefit scores and I don't entirely disagree with the arguments. TypeScript does provide some very useful powerful capabilities. There is no question about that. In order to understand the relatively small benefit scores, you have to have a good understanding of what I am comparing TypeScript to, not just JavaScript but JavaScript paired with tools built for native JavaScript. Let's look at each point in more detail. Developer tooling, my favorite feature of TypeScript and arguably the most powerful practical benefit from using TypeScript is its ability to reduce the cognitive load of developers by providing interface type hints and catch potential errors in real time as you are programming. If none of that were possible in native JavaScript with some good plugins, it ha gave TypeScript more points on the benefit side but the zero point is what's already available using JavaScript and the baseline is already pretty good. Most typers at Crooked don't seem to have good understanding of what TypeScript is competing against. The development tool choice isn't TypeScript versus native JavaScript and no tooling. 
It's between TypeScript and the entire rich ecosystem of JavaScript developers tools. Native JavaScript auto completes and error detection gets you 80%, 90% of benefits TypeScript when you use autocomplete type interface and lint tooling. When you're running type inter inference and you use ECMAScript 6 default parameters, you get type hints just like you would with type annotated TypeScript code. So here's an example. So lastly, how would you install TypeScript so from this command? It will install definitely in your global package in NPM. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned what is TypeScript and what are its benefits and what is its ROI. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.